that was their way of it, uh, salvation. Whatever. Celebration and, and, and stuff, too. Around that time, they, uh, and this is, you know, go back briefly in the Lakota history, they, uh, they were a defeated people, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, they had just been ousted. They were originally a woodland tribe up around Wisconsin, Minnesota area, mm -hmm. and uh, they had been ousted by the Ojibwe and a couple of other tribes and chased out of the woods out into the plains. Mm -hmm. And this is before they became the, 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 the great buffalo hunters and, and horse people. Uh, they were struggling. They were struggling for survival. Right. Yeah, they were completely uncharted territory. Their hearts were on the ground because they had been defeated. Yeah. And along came white buffalo calf wolf. Mm -hmm. And she came and uh, the story goes there were two brothers out hunting one day. and. Uh, Along came this vision of a woman in, a, in, a, in an apparition of a, of a whirlwind mm -hmm. of dust. And the, the, it, the whirlwind went away. There stood the woman uh, in white buckskin, just a beautiful woman. Mm -hmm. And the first brother looked upon her with lust in his heart. Right. And he was instantly struck down and uh, reduced to bones. Mm -hmm. And then the other brother uh, approached her with reverence in his heart. And she greeted him, and he took her to the chief of the tribe. Right. Mm -hmm. And the chief was the chief's name was Standing Hollow Horn mm -hmm. at mm -hmm. the time, and it, there was a, it, it occurred up in the Cheyenne River area, right. up in Wyoming. And uh, she presented the pipe with the people, with, along with the seven sacred ceremonies. Mm -hmm. one, one, one is the sweat lodge. Mm -hmm. The other one is the vision camp. Mm -hmm. Another one is the sun dance. Mm -hmm. Okay, there was one called uh, the home copy or the making of relatives. Right. There's another one of uh, when a woman uh, goes through her uh, from girlhood to womanhood. Mm -hmm. And then there's another one of the keeping of the soul. Mm -hmm. uh, after somebody dies, it releases the, their spirit. And it, so those are the seven sacred ceremonies. But I was given uh, that year. I was given the a block of the stone mm -hmm. uh, that makes the bowl of the pipe, and the stone is called catlinite. It's a red clay-like stone, and it's only found one place in the world, and that's in Pipestone, Minnesota. Oh, okay. And uh, it's called catlinite. Now, doesn't Minnesota, isn't that a Lakota name as well? Yeah, the, the yeah. word Minnesota is a Lakota word. Right, yeah. right. It's a mini sota. Mini, mini is water, and mm -hmm. sota is the color of the sky. Oh, beautiful. So, Mm -hmm. Yeah, water the color of the sky. That's what Minnesota means. Oh, okay. Yeah. Which is the blue that yeah. we see. Yeah. Well, the Ham's beer commercial from the land of sky blue waters, <laughs> which was brewed in Minnesota. So, okay. Yeah, oh, well, so, so I didn't know that. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah. yeah see, there's a, there's method to this Indian stuff. But yeah, oh, anyway, <laughs> they're you know they're always this, they're very connected to the earth oh, yeah. and to all of nature and the animals and. Uh, you know, they, they have a wonderful, great grounding of their own spiritual truth. And I think that's just so, so beautiful. Well, it's very earth-based. You know, they, they lived out in it. They lived out in nature. Um, they lived in teepees. And they grew from the earth. And they were nomadic. They worshipped, they totally they worshipped you know, the, 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 all of Mother Earth. It wasn't really worship. It was more of an honor. Uh, uh, honoring? honoring yes, uh, very um, good. That's a better word, yes. Yeah, uh, mm -hmm. honor everything. Honor the four directions and the medicine that mm -hmm. comes from each direction. Right. Mm -hmm. um, uh, honor the earth. Honor the grandfather sky, grandmother earth. They call it grandmother and grandfather now. Yeah. Uh, it used to be mother earth and father sky, but now uh -huh. we're in the seventh generation. Mm -hmm. and this is what my Uncle David taught me. He said, we, we call them grandmother and grandfather now because we're in the seventh generation. Mm. And there's a whole, you know, we can go on, on about right. that. But. Let's talk about the sun dance. Now, you used to do drumming. You did uh -huh. drumming for the sun dance mm -hmm. and stuff. I started out as a drummer. Uh -huh. uh, all my life I've been a drummer. I've been a rock drummer. I was a drummer in marching bands. Yeah. All my life. Um, now, you did Vision Quest as well. Mm -hmm. Okay. And, and we'll explain that in just a moment. But uh, as you explain what Vision Quest and, and Sundance is, mm -hmm. which one do you do first? Do you have to do the Vision Quest before you're able to do the drumming in Sundance? <clears throat> I'm not sure if there's any order. That yeah, that's what I was wondering there. if there was a it, order. It, it went that way for me. Seasonally, uh, the, the Vision Quest comes first. Mm -hmm. That's done in the spring or early summer. And then about a month goes by. 
And then uh, it's usually around the first full moon of July mm -hmm. is uh, the, for the four days of the Sundance. Right. Sundance is the biggest sacred event of the year. Uh -huh. uh, Vision Quest is a personal thing. Um, you're, and I'll go in, I'm going to get into that first because uh, I did truly experience that uh, firsthand. And I did that before I got into the drumming mm -hmm. part of it. Mm -hmm. but, my first vision camp, my first vision quest was on the reservation, was on the Pine Ridge Reservation up in South Dakota. Oh, okay. Just Beautiful outside of a little town. There too. Just outside of a little Dakota. town called Porcupine. Oh, okay. Which is about a mile and a half south of Wounded Knee, where the massacre took took place, the Wounded Knee Massacre. Mm -hmm. It was right there in that area. Mm -hmm. And I was I, I, I went there with uh, two other men from Gunnison. Mm -hmm. Kept Colorado. We were the the Pahashka Oyate. We were from the white. We were the White Mountain people. Is that what they call? Yeah. Say that again. One more the time. Pa Pahashka Oyate. Pahashka Oyate. Yeah. Paha is, is hills or mountains. Mm -hmm. Shka is white, and Oyate is like nation. Uh -huh. uh, so we we're people, but mm -hmm. so we were there like this detachment, and uh, talked talk to my uncle Dave. We made the arrangements mm -hmm. months before. And, uh, and he was to put us out on the hill. And the, the area we chose was like right along Wounded Knee Creek, mm -hmm. uh, just up from the creek and, and up away. And you basically spend four days right. uh, with no food, no water, mm. with the pipe, praying right. with the pipe. So when I, after I made the, the bowl of the pipe uh, with this, from the stone, I did that with my, right. my own hands. Mm -hmm. and, fashioned it into the bowl of the pipe, and I got the stem, the stem was gifted to me, and uh, it became the pipe. And before I could pray with it or use it in any ceremony, mm -hmm. it had to be activated. And to activate it, uh, and this is all strictly Lakota tradition, mm -hmm. to activate it you have to go on the hill, mm -hmm. for, and, and you fast and pray with it. So you load it, you load it, and you sweat it, two rounds in the sweat, mm -hmm. load the pipe, and then they take you out on the hill. And now let's let's clarify what is load the pipe. What are you loading the pipe with? Tobacco. Tobacco. Yeah. Okay. It's just to no make sure people it's no not, drugs are ever used. It's not marijuana it's, or anything there else. There have it's never been drugs or alcohol in the Lakota right. way. Not until right. a white man showed up. See, you know, and I, I I think that's a great point to make because you knew talk nowadays people talk about loading the pipe. Mm -hmm. They're thinking of other things, right. not just yeah. tobacco. It's stri strictly tobacco. And yeah. again, that's a, that was the stuff that was dear. Uh -huh. to them, uh, sacred. Mm -hmm. Sacred. Mm -hmm. Tobacco is sacred. Right. Mm -hmm. uh, you give tobacco whenever you do anything. Right. If you want to talk to my uncle about some sort of spiritual matter, you approach him with tobacco. Right, because uh, that's what, uh, when I did uh, the uh, sweat lodge, uh, the guy that invited me to come, he, uh, I, he told me, he goes, bring some cigarettes. Yeah. Bring cigarettes yeah. because and give it to, uh, I can't remember what the, the, the person that's uh, doing the, the sweat lodge, mm -hmm. what is the, what, they have a special name. Uh, it was the leader. The leader, intercessor. Okay, uh, to give to him. Yeah, the pours of water. Right, the man the pours of water. Pour the water, he's doing the chanting mm -hmm. in, in the Lakota um, mm -hmm. language and stuff. And uh, he said, bring, bring uh, cigarettes to, that's an offering to him. Right, mm -hmm. right. So, it, so that was the, the first vision quest. And it was a huge camp. There must have been probably three, four hundred people there. Supporters, and then the people going out. Mm -hmm. uh, David runs a big camp, mm -hmm. uh, and he did back then. But the area we chose uh, was really an area that very few of the Indians themselves wanted to go. Right. Mm -hmm. Because of all the stuff that happened at Wounded Knee.